Hi, I'm Joanna, editor of Quilts and More magazine, and this video is brought to you by Baby Lock. Have you always wanted to try free motion quilting? Free motion quilting gives you complete creative freedom to create any quilting design you'd like, including curved lines, letters, and even drawings. It takes practice, but it can really add to the design of your quilt. I'm going to give you my favorite tips for free motion quilting on your domestic sewing machine. For free motion quilting, you'll need a free motion quilting foot, which is sometimes called a darning foot. When free motion quilting, you can move your quilt top in any direction, so you need to lower the feed dogs so that they don't pull on the bottom of your quilt. Some free motion quilting feet come with a plastic guard that you can use to cover up your feed dogs, which is handy if your particular sewing machine model doesn't let you lower them. On this REM machine, there is a sewing mode that is made specifically for free motion quilting that will automatically lower the feed dogs and raise the presser foot so you have more clearance for the layers of your quilt sandwich. Check your sewing machine manual to find the optimal setting for your particular sewing machine model. There are also a few notions that are incredibly helpful for free motion quilting. First and foremost, machine quilting gloves give you a much better grip on the quilt sandwich as you guide it under the needle. Gardening gloves with grips also work, but in my experience, gloves made specifically for quilting work just a little better. Speaking of needles, it's always a good idea to change out your needle before starting your project. You also want to use good quality cotton machine quilting thread. If you prefer to mark your design first, use a marking tool that's made specifically for fabric and always test it on a scrap from your particular project first to make sure that the marks come off cleanly. Before you start stitching, it's good to practice doodling designs first. This helps develop your muscle memory for the design you want to try and trains your brain to know what's coming up next. Once you're ready to try actual stitching, make a plain quilt sandwich from fabric in your stash to practice on. I always like to practice on orphan blocks and small projects. Table runners and pillows, for example, are a great place to start. Take, for example, this stitch and switch pillow, which is from Quilts and More. In the pillow, there are many parts of the design where you can test out different quilting designs. If you're having trouble coming up with quilting designs, try following along a motif that's in your fabric, such as following along these floral shapes, tracing along these clouds, or even following along one of these paisley designs. It's a great place to start if you're having trouble picking just one design. As you're quilting, pay attention to how you're moving the fabric. If you're right-handed, you may want to push the fabric to the left and use your left hand as more of a guide. Your movements will be smoother if they feel natural to you. For free motion quilting, the speed in which you move the fabric matters. You want to move the fabric at the same speed as the needle is moving. Otherwise, you can have tension issues as you go around curves. Another thing that can help is to hum or sing as you move your hands at the same speed as the machine. It may feel a little goofy at first, but it really helps you keep a steady rhythm. With free motion quilting, practice truly does make perfect. Try focusing on just a couple versatile designs to start, and then you can build up your skills from there. My favorite beginner-friendly designs are this wishbone scroll that I like to use for piece to pieces, these leaves, vines, and maybe the occasional flower for borders, and then stippling for any wide open spaces. Once you develop a few go-to designs, you'll have a repertoire that you can use again and again. So if you're ready to take your quilting to the next level, use these tips to free motion quilt on your domestic sewing machine.